everyone, welcome back to Alex Race Unlimited. We're going to start off our week of Yu-Gi-Oh cards opening by opening up something they've already done before, one of these really cool dual power boxes. For those of you who don't remember, these things contain six packs where all the cards are holographic, along with a really sick playing mat, and you also get six alternative arts from all the series. So you get Classic Dark Magician, you get Neos, you get all the 5D leads and links and everything. It's a really cool box that I've already done, but I'm really excited to open up because the set's pretty big. I think there's over like 100 cards in it. So let's open up and see what we can get. Dual power box. So I'm really excited to open one of these up again. Last time we did this, we got some really cool pulls and there are a couple of cards that I was surprised to even get. Like, um, I think Heart of Destruction was one of them and that's one of the big ones in the series, especially during like season uh, three, four, and even five. It's like one of the big cards that Kaiba uses. So once again, for those of you who haven't seen the back of this, this thing comes with six of these really awesome packs. These things, uh, oh, wait, there, they are. there they are. Six of these things with a sick Dark Magician cover. They're really nice. Again, all the cards in here are all uh, holographic gold lettering, so they're all secret rare. And it comes with this sweet little guy, which is all the alternative arts for the original six series. And we got this thing. We already have one of these, but maybe we'll lay it down for this video. But we got this really dope play mat. So once again, it shows you the alternate art cards of like Dark Magician, Neos, uh, 5D guys, V Strange, Arc V, and all that stuff. So that's really cool. We'll just leave you there. Put that up here. Put the box clips up here. And maybe just leave you like that. Yeah, that should work. All right. So once again, we got these things, which uh, pretty, if you've seen any of these videos, these are always guaranteed. But they're still really cool cards to get. I think in my next one, I'm just not gonna open it, but it'd be nice to have two that are open already. You get these sick alternate art cards. It's always really cool during the Yu-Gi-Oh! series when like the lead cards like Yu-Gi's Dark Magician, Kaiba's Blue Eyes, the cards kind of change a little bit, the way they look. I've always enjoyed the kind of the varying art, so I've also wondered that if in like the reality of the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! these cards are super hard to get, like a Dark Magician, how does Yu-Gi keep getting a different alternate art one? Like where is he getting his from? Huh? Or, like is it just if you were the owner of the card you could turn it in and get a new version of it? I don't know. But those are those guys. So we're gonna put these six. Let's find out, see what we get. I have been recently re-watching some of the series, the original uh, Duel Monsters one, the first five seasons with Yugi and Joey and everyone. And it's pretty crazy, some of the stuff that, oof. Star Sarcophagus, nice. Again, I don't know what exactly is like super rare since they're all hollow gold lettering. It's kind of hard to figure that part out, but um, a lot of these, ooh, Red Hot Dragon Archfiend King Calamity. What the heck? That's a 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. That's like a 12 star card. Four th Whoa. Okay, I'm assuming that this is one of the rarer cards only because of the insanity of the name, stars, and power level. That's pretty dope. Cowardly the first Foss. Again, I can't read words. I'm a science major. Foss, Fossefer. Not an English major. All these cards are so cool. I really wish that they, though they had like some kind of rarity on the bottom to be like, oh, this is the secret rare one. No, this is the secret rare one. But also, I really do enjoy the fact that all these cards just foil. I mean, that's a really neat thing. That's one thing I actually like most about this. Like, I know a lot of people like um, might think that it decreases the value of it, but I really enjoy just like I can make a whole deck out of just these foil cards. What are you? Ufrot Genius? Huh? These links on the monster cards are pretty cool, but I don't know anything about them. Tactical Exchanger. Crazy. There it is! Card of Demise! This is a super popular card. I've been re-watching season of series 4 and 5 in Duel, Mon in, uh, Duel Masters. Monsters, that's it. And Kaiba uses this card in like almost every single duel. It's a really popular card, so that one's really cool to always get. Link Disciple, and whoa. Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Phantom Dragon. Another 4,500, whoa. Maybe you're one of the really cool rare ones. I don't know, I can't tell. Like, there's so many, whatever. I'll figure it out later. My next video when we do one of these, because I'm probably gonna open another one of these up. That way I don't have to open up one of those packs of the Dark Magicians and everything. Those alternate arts, ooh. 
Necroz Mirror. So, I really love all these foils. Lefty Driver. I think this might be the one that has the Danger series, like Danger of Foot, Danger Bigfoot. Hey, B Cop from the Underworld. We pulled that and the other one. That's actually, remember, a pretty good card. Cool. I need to learn how to play these Link Summon cards. Mark of the Rose, we got that before. And Harpy's Dancer. Or just Harpy Dancer. Nice. Keeping the original series. Cool. All right, so we're halfway through these. We got three more packs left. I think we pulled some pretty good cards. I mean, there's a 12 star and like 4,000 attack monsters. They're pretty awesome. But, hey, we pulled that also. Red Hot Dragon, Archfiend Abyss. 3,200. Necroz of Unicorn. Oh, you're a Ritual Spellcaster. I thought you were a Link Summon for a second. Whoa, what? Ghost Spell and Haunted Mansion. Oh, maybe this is a series where there's like Rose... Isn't there like a Rose Girl in this set? Oh, you part of- maybe that would go good in like the Bakora deck with those new uh, doll cards. Galaxy Soldier, I think we pulled you before. And Backup Supervisor, <laughs> what? I need to know more about these Link cards to even do this anymore. It's kind of just out of the loop without knowing anything about them. But, we're down to our second flask. Woo! Heretic Dragon King of Atom? What? That is amazing. That's a really cool part. Here, if I can zoom in and focus. Look at that artwork. Without getting all the foil glare. Dope card. Nice, I like that. I think the most so far. Soul Pendulum. All right. Card of Demise, another one. I like getting this card. I like getting the cards that I know personally from the shows that I watched. Necroz Kaleidoscope. That's another Necroz. We've seen that name before. And Heretic Dragon of... Oh, wait. What? Oh. Hey. Two Heretic Dragons. King of Autumn of the Tenef. So, is that level 6 dragon? Yeah, so maybe we can use this card for it. I mean, that's the point of it. So, what's your artwork? We can kind of focus in and compare it to. Heretic Dragons. That's pretty dope. I like that. All right, last pack. Again, I wish I knew what was the super rare ones. I'd be freaking out a little bit more, but I'm just excited that all of these are foil. Someone out there's probably watching this and being like, mm, they're all pretty rare, or like, you just missed a really valuable card. Oh my God, I'm gonna destroy this card and bend it. All right, all right. Last one, Necroz Mirror, another one of those bad guys. Utopic Anomato, what? Onomatopoeia. Yep, you took Onomatopoeia. I wasn't wrong with that. <laughs> that is, this card is treated as a Zumba, Gaga, Gagio, and Dodo card. What? Oh my god, I used to play with those guys. The Gaga guy, like Lizard, that's 1850, 1000. Card of Demise again. What? We got three of these in one. Oh, that should be like a tag. Eternal Soul. Oh, hey. Dark Condition. Dope. And another Heretic Dragon. All right, here, I wanna find all those cards of Demise for a second. Hold on. So we got one, we got two, and we got three somewhere. Also, can we appreciate this? Just let me focus on that for a second. Like just that insane all foil constantly. It's such a cool feeling. But yeah, awesome. Oh wait, you're not card of Demise. There we go. So we got three of these. I'm actually really stoked about that. I personally like the cards that are from the show. That's really neat. We also got, I don't know what, if you or, and if you are important. If anyone knows, maybe those heretic dragons are the most important ones. Red Hot Dragon, Archfiend, and Galaxy Eyes Armor. Whatever, all these cards are all these cards are ultimately really awesome and super stoked to get them all. But once again, that's one of the dual power boxes. Thank you very much for watching my video. We're gonna have another Yuga opening this week, and for those of you who don't know, this Thursday is Halloween, so we're gonna have a special Halloween episode. So thanks for watching and have a great night.